Good morning. Today I want to look at two of the parables that Jesus taught. They're very short parables and they are on the same theme. A parable is, as you know, a story uh, representing um, and giving us a, a spiritual truth, if you like. Jesus taught a lot of parables. He used ordinary everyday events to represent and point out spiritual truths and how wonderfully he did that. He was a great storyteller. He observed life in a, in a marvellous way and he saw in all the everyday things um, whispers of God's truths. And we do that today, I think. I often find myself looking or seeing something and seeing and hearing the Lord apply it to my life or apply it to a situation. So these two stories are found in Matthew 13, 44 and 45. Let me read them. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. And again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Now, when we look at this, we have to see it in the context of the life that Jesus lived. Um, in his day, obviously, it's different to how it is in the UK. I don't know what it's like in the country where you are. But in the UK, if you find um, treasure in a field, if you find archaeological treasure, or even, if you find, even if you find a, a buried treasure of modern coinage, um, you have to report it to the police. Um, and if it's not claimed, if it's, if it's a, a, a lost wallet or a lost... You can't, you can't claim it unless nobody else claims it for a certain length of time, and then you'll be given it. Um, and if it's an archaeological find, um, then you may be given value for it. But it belongs to the crown, basically, um, treasures. So the rules about finding treasure in field, uh, you'd have to find out the, what they are for your where you are. But let us just take the story as Jesus told it. Um, and I have, over the years had two different interpretations of these two stories. They're basically saying the same thing, that the person <coughs> who is an expert, who knows about things, finds something really valuable, treasure or a pearl. And he's, he doesn't tell anyone that he's found it. Instead, he goes away and he sells everything he's got in order to buy the field to get the treasure or to buy the pearl so that he can own it. And the first thought was the thought that I've had most of my life, and that is that this reflects, it's because the, the Lord Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like. Uh, and what is it about the kingdom of heaven that is like that? And for me, to begin with, it was finding Jesus. That you might search all your life to find the most important thing for you. But when you find Jesus, he becomes more important than anything else that you've ever found. And you're willing to give up everything else for the finding of Jesus. That's how I've always seen it. And it ties in with the verses in uh, uh, chapter 10, uh, Matthew 10, verse 37, where Jesus says, He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Um, the, other, the other gospel, I think Luke puts it, if you do not hate your father and mother, and that is hatred by comparison to the love we have for Jesus. That Jesus is the top. All our priorities are reversed once we find Jesus and he is the number one thing for which we would give everything. We would, you know, devote and, and, we, and you see it in the disciples. They gave up everything. They left their 
businesses, they left their families, they followed Jesus. Jesus became the number one in their family. And I've always seen these two parables like that, that finding Jesus outshines everything else in life. There's nothing like it. There's no, nothing to be compared to Jesus. Nobody, no cause, no ideas, nothing compared to Jesus. And then the other way is, is, a, is a way that came to me really only quite recently in the last couple of years. To understand that this person searching for treasure or searching for a pearl is the Lord himself. And when he finds the pearl or the treasure, he gives everything he has in order to obtain that treasure. And that reminded me of the shepherd leaving the 99 and going searching for the one. The preciousness of the one that the Lord God himself gave the, the best thing he ever had. He gave everything he had in order to obtain the treasure and the pearl. And seeing it that way round gives it a completely new thought and ties in with, of course, the most famous Bible verse of all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He gave everything he had. He gave everything he had to win mankind, to win men and women into his kingdom. So whichever way we see it, it's a wonderful parable, isn't it? Both parables are wonderful because it shows the infinite value of us to God and Jesus to us. Whichever way you see it, you know, and it challenges us today. Where is Jesus in your order of priorities? Is he the most important thing in your life? The most important person in your life? Is he, have, would you give up everything for him? Would you sell all you have to follow him? And do you realise how much God loves you? How much God gave to win you? He gave everything he had so that you could come into the kingdom. Oh, don't ever underestimate how much God loves you. So, two little parables, but how precious they are. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.